king. They worship. They had the goddess. They had many goddesses. What happened to the goddess? Women, you are, some of you are women. women aren't women worth worshiping? I worship my mother. I wouldn't be ashamed to tell you that. And I hope my father did. He, I think he was intelligent. He, he worshiped her. That's why they beat women so often in the American society. You all call it battered woman. Some pretty big name. But it's funny that the goddess disappeared and there's no goddess. Not one in your mind. And I ask again, why isn't there any goddess? If there is a god, and there, there should be a goddess for the god, especially when you said that the woman is the mother of God. You said in the Catholic text, Holy Mary, mother of God. If Mary was the mother of God, she is before God. She knew God when she didn't have a seed in her. God was nothing. How come that she became pregnant, got God in her, and then God comes out? This is based upon you. You said, a child born from a mother without a father who is married to her is a bastard, you said. Illegitimate. God, Jesus Christ qualified. His illegitimate mate, his mother was married. Second, he's a bastard. His father was married. I did not say this. I am quoting from your text of things that you said. If someone find me to be wrong, please get up and say so now. Tell me the correction so that I may correct myself from the error. If not, I will continue. You said I must believe in God. When I was a boy, my mother, being part of the Hebrew religion, she, she did until she died, and my father followed the Hebrew religion until he died. And I followed the Hebrew religion until I get big enough to know better. When I was small, a little fellow named Reynald got kicked, and he got ruptured and died. I asked my parents to go to the funeral like most of the other little kids, and my father said I couldn't go. My mother said I couldn't go. Well, that was enough, it meant I couldn't go. And then I asked my father, when it was all over, why couldn't I go? And he said, I was not a Christian, it was a Christian funeral. I said, but I know Renard, we were in the same class. And the kid, the, the kid that kicked him was a fellow Christian, and he died. My father's statement of his, to me was that his God is different to my God. I started to think then, because I thought that all men, they said, it's a difference in philosophy. All men believe in a common God. So then I asked another question, why is God here, Jehovah, God there, Christianity, Christ, and God there, Allah? But no goddess. And I said, yet, God over here has a woman who is the godmother. God over here has a woman who gave birth to him, and she is his mother. And God over here at Muhammad has another goddess over there. All the time I look at God having a mother who is never proclaimed, but is mentioned. 
And all the time I look over here, the man gave birth to a child, a girl child, a mother. And he had given birth to God and no help of a woman. And then I looked at men, including myself, and noticed that a man has no provision to give birth, even if he's a faggot. <laughs> have no provision made to give birth to anything that when he's urinating, he have trouble sometimes. So I had to ask myself eventually, it was bothering me all the time, I eventually asked myself, how could a man give birth to a child? There are fellows trying to prove for it to me all the time, but I can't see it. I see them switching and doing all kind of things. But they haven't been able to deal with and no minister, no rabbi, and no imam have I asked to tell me where and who is God. Where can I find God to go and explain to him my problem? And I ask any of you to tell me realistically, what did God do for you? Don't tell me something you dream about. Tell me something that I could see. Don't tell me who you heard, what you believe. I want to see the actual fact. And not one of you here can do that. Not one. If you're a minister, you can't do it. If you're a bishop, you can't do it. If you a man, if you wear black and white, pink and green, you can't do it. God is a factor that none of us have ever seen. Now, many of you say that you believe in God. I bet you, you can't show me God. And get me, you, you can't prove to me there's such a thing as God. You don't tell me what you believe. I don't want a damn what you believe. You could believe all kind of thing, but prove it. What, where is God? Where he come from? And if God made the world, where was God when he was making the world? If he made it, it doesn't exist, right? And he got to be some place to make it. <laughs> I ask you, where was God when he made the world? You can't tell me a single place because you're telling me about the world. Have you ever given those things a thought? You never. You believed in God primarily, either your mother or some guardian or the other, or your father, told you about God and you see other people believing in that and you were afraid to believe in it. So you follow your parents, like me. Until I started to examine, without any prejudice, I started to examine what is God, what is meant by it. And I went through some, kind of, some problems because I was afraid at times. I had never asked myself the question and had the nerves to examine what is God. Of course, I have uh, been easy, easy. I've read of books about goddesses in different religions and didn't believe there could be a goddess because a man taught me that a woman would never reach to that point. He never said why. He never give me any reason. It was automatic. A woman can't reach to that point. That's it. She can have even God. She make God, but she can't be like God. She, Holy Mary, Mother of God. And then, most of us here, Christians, I assume I may be wrong. But we have heard, some people say, I'm not, I'm not a Catholic. You are a Catholic. And if you're not a Catholic, you're a bastard proceedings. <laughs> Martin Luther. Martin Luther was a Christian Roman Catholic. He fought against the church that started the Protestant movement. So you came out of the Catholic Church. Don't knock it. And then, before you come, became a Christian, 1997 years ago, 
You were a Jew. The Christians in Alexandria, Egypt fought and they fighting against the Jews started their own religion out of Christianity. But where did the Jews come from in their religion? You don't discuss that. How is it that they don't tell you where Judaism come from? The Judaism always was Judaism was Abraham the first Jew, the very first Jew, Abraham. Didn't Abraham mother worry, worship God? Did she worship any God you know? Did Leah, his, fa his father, worship any God you know? Did weren't those people worshiping a God? And his God wasn't Jehovah. You read that he had a God, but you said his God was a bad God, was no God. He was a no God. Why is he a no God? When people were calling him a God. Because you feel that way. Because you are trained that way. You don't know. He, that God was a bad God. People tell you it was a bad God. When you go to Egypt, many of you have gone to Egypt with me and you've gone alone. You see a God. They tell you this is a God. His name is Ra. And the people worship Ra before before Abraham was born, before his mother was born, before his father, his grandmother's grandfather's great grandfather's great grandmother was born, they were worshiping Ra. Why is Ra incorrect? Why is Ra not God to you? What's wrong? The Canaanites, the, 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 the seven nations of people called Canaan, they had a God behind them. Why is he wrong? Did he do something to you? Huh? But you never give it a thought. Never once give it a thought. But you said, it is wrong. You never asked what the Pharaoh was. You said the Pharaoh was a group of Egyptians who took the Hebrews. How did the Hebrews got there? You said, Abraham was born in the city of Ur in Chaldea. You said so. When he was born in Ur in Chaldea, that means in Asia. He's not in Africa. Egypt is in Africa unless I saw the wrong thing up to last Sunday. <laughs> and Egypt was going along before there was Moses, before there was Abraham, before there was Jacob, before... I keep going all the way. They had a civilization in Africa and all the pyramids. The first pyramid was built in uh, the third dynasty, that's the step pyramid of Shakara, and the 96th pyramid was built in the 22nd dynasty. No Jew alive, not one, was born. And some lion minister tell me that the pyramid you're lying if you're telling the truth. <laughs> I mean, I don't know you call, you may find some other word for it, but I don't know it. And the 96 pyramids, as I said, but something else. You said that the Jews built them as slaves. So build, who built those in Sudan? You don't know this pyramids there? You haven't heard? We <laughs> got some men here that have gone to Sudan with me to see the pyramids. And saw the pyramids all over. The 44 pyramids in Sudan. 44. But you don't know this. Because someone didn't want you to know this.
I'm going to stop a minute.